and I don't intend to cut it until I'm uh, pretty much done. So I need to put this in the position I would be in if I was going to knit. But I'm not going to be using this white yarn. I'm going to be using the pink yarn. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this yarn and I'm going to fold it over, leaving enough tail. And then I'm going to slip it right over the knitting needle. And I'm going to knit one. And then I'm going to make sure that I tug on the white to make sure that it's tight. And I'm going to put tug on both of the pink strands to make sure they're tight. Now in this situation when you're knitting for a scarf uh, you want to be able to make sure that the strands are taken care of as you're doing the knitting. So most of what I'm going to do is actually going to happen in the back. So what I need to do is I need to put the needle in the knit position in the work. Then I need to bring this yarn here up between the crisscross of the two needles and just leave it laying there in the front like this. Then I want to take this double strand and I want to put it around the back, uh, around the needle in the back. And I don't want to do anything with this yarn here. I just want to leave it in the front so it's out of the way and I'm going to knit through. You see what's happening? This is just hanging there. And now it looks like I have a two stitches but it's really I'm going to knit through the two stitches when I uh, purl through the two stitches when I do the next row. Um, what I'm concerned about is what's going to happen with this. What I really want is for this to weave in and out of the work. So the next thing I need to do is place that white across the back. So what's happening now is it's looping over top of the the wool that I'm using to do the knitting with. So I put it in the knit position and you see where it is? It's down here at the back, it's not touching anything and I'm just going to knit And what's happening is it's starting to loop through and it's going to weave itself in and out of the stitches at the back. So I'm going to put it in the knit position. Put it in the knit position first. So your needle is through the loop in the knit position. Then you're going to bring the yarn forward between the two so now see this is what it wants to do it wants to come up between the two and then when you do your knit you're going to loop the yarn over it like this and then pull the stitch through and once the stitch is off and onto the other needle you notice this is over here then we want it to just rest in the back for the next stitch so you don't do anything with it. Put it in the knit position and you see what's going to happen when you pull these yarn, the yarn over into knit. It's looped over this white stitch. And when you look at the back, here it is here and you can see where it's come up and gone through like this. Now, let's do it one more time step by step. Put the needle in the knit position. Take your white wool and you bring it up between the two stitches and your pink wool or the other color should be on the right side of that white roll right now. Now loop the pink over in the knit position and then knit the stitch this really isn't doing anything. It gets caught around the needle and stuff like that but it doesn't matter. Now you're going to take that wool and make sure it rests in the back and you're going to just knit and by doing that it pulls this over. Now you notice that I'm almost finished that second piece of the strand so just let that hang and just work on the single strand now and you knit. 
okay one more time knit position just position it has you can't overstep this knit position first yarn goes in between the V of the two of the two needles knit pull off then take the yarn and put it in the back and just knit okay so now an intermediate knitter could actually hold the yarn in their left hand so you would take it and you hold it in your left hand and you're going to do the exact same thing again only this time you're just making sure that it's up so see now the yarn is in between and my finger is here I knit it and pull up this time I keep the yarn in the back by t tucking my finger in the back and I knit okay position yarn in between knit position yarn at the back knit and when you're doing this now I'll do it this way so you can see what happens position yarn in between knit position yarn in back knit position yarn in between knit position yarn in back knit and you will notice that I have now knit right across and I have now run the white yarn all the way across the back and I have this little tiny strand of the pink yarn from the double strand when I first started here that I can cut off or I can not depending on how I feel on a thick chunky yarn like this with enough acrylic in it I would suggest that you do do a single knot in it a really tight one because acrylic is put in the fiber to make it bouncy to make it so you can wash and dry it and it, give it, it gives it some spring now if that's the case this could spring itself right out of the loop so you want to knot it and it won't affect the integrity of your work at any time now at this point you can cut off your white at about this much if you want and you can run a needle with a, a needle, run uh, like a sewing a yarn needle. You can uh, weave through here if you want. Or if you want to continue for two more stitches in purl ways, you could purl your pink yarn and carry the white. So purl one and then uh, we want to purl again because we just don't want to undo what we had done in the purl ways now at this point here is when you decide what you're going to do with this and you want to pull it up like this so you can weave it and then you just purl again and it automatically puts it in position so to purl I'll do it again so you can see it so you put it in position again make sure you pull it up purl it like that then just leave it alone and do a normal purl and that sets it and at this point when you've done a couple of stitches I would make sure that you cut it off well it is pointing downwards uh, in the work and that's how you add a color on and make sure you have no ends.